Hi, so this video lecture is going to be about motion. It's going to be the very basics about motion and, and in particular it's going to be about how we describe motion. What words do we use? What terms do we use to help us understand what motion is? Motion can be defined as a change in position. So any object, if its position changes, is moving. That's how we define motion. Okay, but if we're talking about a change in position, we also have to have a frame of reference. I prefer reference point. You may use either. Either is correct. You will see uh, in some books, you will see frame of reference, and in some you will see uh, the term reference point. So the reference point is what you use to compare the position of the object that you want to want to describe. So in this case the train, um, the tr let's say the train is moving. If the train is actually moving then if we choose a frame of reference or a reference point for example a uh, little orange sign that's right in the in the middle. So if the train's position is actually changing in reference to that orange sign, then it is moving. Okay. If the position of the train is not changing in regards to that orange sign, then it's not moving. So if the orange sign is your reference point, that's what you're looking at, is the train's position changing. How many of you have been on a bus or a train and it wasn't moving, but uh, another train came in or left the station next to you, and for that split second, you felt like you were moving. I mean, your your brain actually played a trick on you because <clears throat> you thought you were moving because you were looking at another object outside of the train. So the best reference points are actually what we call fixed or stationary. Stationary with an A, not an E. Uh, and um, uh, we'll talk about that in class as well. So a fixed reference point is something that's not moving and that's why I selected uh, the little orange sign right here in the middle of the picture because um, it's fixed, it's not moving, it's connected to the ground, right? Okay, so what about something like the Taj Mahal? It does not appear to be moving, right? So that's because if you're using, say, the tree over on the right-hand side as a reference point, then of course the Taj Mahal's position is not changing relative to that tree. But if you think about the Taj Mahal's um, movement or position using, say, the sun as a reference point, is the Taj Mahal moving? Well. Yeah, it is, because the Taj Mahal is connected to Earth, and Earth is actually uh, orbiting the Sun. So if you use the Sun as your reference point, then yes, the Taj Mahal is moving. All of those people in the picture are moving. You're moving. I'm moving. My computer's moving. Okay? So reference point is key when we're talking about motion. Some things that appear to be uh, unmoving are actually moving. It just depends on the reference point and sometimes they're not moving. Okay, another uh, term that we use to describe motion is speed. Speed has to do with how fast or how slowly the movement is happening. Okay, uh, so it could be really, really slow. It could be like a slug, a turtle, a snail. I mean, it could be really, really, really slow, uh, almost to the point that you can't tell that, that there's any movement happening. Or it can be really fast, at the speed of light even. Okay, so anytime you're talking about how fast or how slowly something is moving, you're using speed to describe the motion. Okay, and there is a formula for calculating speed. Uh, speed is always the distance that the object moves and the time that it took for that object to move that distance. So sometimes it's uh, meters per second, sometimes it's miles per hour, kilometers per hour, feet per second, uh, as long as you have the distance and the time measurement, you can calculate speed. 
we'll be doing some of that in labs in class. Okay. Um, velocity is also a term that we use to describe speed, and a lot of people think velocity and speed are exactly the same thing, but in science they're not. Uh, velocity is speed and direction, so you have to, when you're talking about velocity, we use vectors, and if you're comfortable in math, you're probably familiar with vectors, they're the little arrows that tell you um, direction, right? So um, velocity is speed, so it's a change in position of an object, the distance that it moved, and how fast that happened, like how much time it took for that to happen. But then you also have the direction component. Okay, so it could be right, left, up, down. It could be the cardinal directions, like north, south, east, and west. As long as direction is attached to the speed, we call it velocity. All right, then uh, the last term we're going to talk about in this video is acceleration. Now, in order to understand acceleration and to be able to figure out how to calculate it really well, you have to know velocity. And so we just said that velocity is a change in speed or direction. So most of you think, oh, I know what acceleration means. And you do. Acceleration does mean to speed up. But because the, the actual definition of acceleration is a change in velocity, and velocity is speed and direction, we have to kind of expand our definition of acceleration. It is speeding up, but it's not just speeding up. It's also slowing down. So if you have a change in velocity, which is speed and direction, and something is slowing down, it starts at this velocity and it goes down to this velocity, then we say it's accelerating. Sometimes in, in conversational English you will hear the word decelerate or deceleration, but in, in science typically we just use the one term acceleration. So you can have positive acceleration or negative acceleration. In this case, slowing down would be negative acceleration. Stopping, if you're, if you're moving and then you're not moving, that's acceleration because you're changing your velocity. Also, starting, you're at the, the starting line and you're getting ready to, to race. The minute you start in motion, you're accelerating because you're changing your velocity from zero to some actual speed. You're actually moving uh, in reference to a fixed point. Okay? And then finally, because acceleration is a change in velocity, and velocity includes speed and direction, then if there's a change in direction, you're also accelerating. So maybe your speed doesn't change. Maybe you're, you were going 60 miles per hour, you're still going 60 miles per hour. The only thing is, is you're going in a different direction. You accelerated. Okay? So the scientific definition of acceleration that we talk about in physics it's a change in velocity. Velocity is speed and direction. So any change in speed, whether it's a, a lessening of speed, an increase in speed, or a change in direction, you've got acceleration. All right, so those are the terms that we're going to uh, practice with. We'll be doing some labs on uh, speed, velocity, and acceleration. And uh, we'll be calculating some speed and some uh, acceleration. And we will also probably be doing some graphing. So uh, I'll see you in class.